The very next play, uh, I think this play we get a touchdown on. So we got a little different set. We got um, tight end here, regular lineman, regular lineman. You got an extra line right here. I think this is Cologne, uh, Tristan Cologne. You got Mark back there. You got Ricard. You got Freeman. Um, let's see what play is this. Like a little counter. I mean, not counter. Like a little power play. Looks like power. Looks like power. Mark got the end. Mark is the pool guy. So it's there. Record. Yeah, that's power. Power with no puller. With two pullers, I'm sorry. You're gonna get a pull you're gonna get Zyla pulling, you can get Andrews pulling, and you get um Ricard on the kick out. There's the hole right there. There's the hole right there. So we got a good down block by Powers, maybe. Yeah, Powers, you got a good down block. Look at look at power. Look at this leverage. Way better technique on this one. Way better technique. And you got a double right here with Alejandro and the um, tight end. Ricard should be coming to kick out this dude. Um, Zeitler should be pulling for this cat. And you got Mark coming around, I'm assuming, hitting the same hole just for extra for extra beef. And why both of them pass the hole up? I do not know. The hole is still there. And both pullers go here. I'm not sure what they're seeing. And so it makes it a little tougher for him to get in. But he get in, it's a touchdown. All right, next one we have, let's see. This is Le'Veon. Now we got got a first down. Got about seven. Got about seven on this one. I think you got about seven yards. Let's see what play this is or what kind of play it is. Bash, another bash play, counter bash. All right, with it being counter bash, down block, he's going to take him on, and if he jump inside, should kick him down. He should be coming down to help him to 55. Um, guard should be pulling for 91 to kick him out. Uh, Phillips should be rabbing to 57 to block him. I'm not sure what they're going to do with 91. I'm not sure. It depends on what Mark's going to do. But I, he should be kicked out by the end. So I'm assuming Mark's going to arc and pick up anything up here. That's what I'm assuming. Um, that's not Mark. That's Ricard. Mark's over here. And I'm not sure what they're going to do with Mark. So I'm, let's see Let's see what's going on. I'm not sure what they're going to do with Mark. Both of them arced. Okay, Mark and uh, Ricard arced. And so they're running counter badge down here with the Reed man being... 94. 94 widens. He should keep it and, and run the count, run the quarterback counter behind him. That's because of the way I guess he I guess 94 is not as athletic as other guys. Because I would think in my everything in me tells me this is a poor read. Because you got the kick out right here, then you got this free guy coming. Everything in me tells me it's a poor read, but but he gave it. He gave it, and 94 is in no man's land. Like, now he's he's out leveraged by, because he don't know where the ball is. He's out leveraged by um, Le'Veon now. So, in my opinion, Le'Veon should just cut this thing up right here. Why he's trying to get wide? Why is he trying to get wide? I don't know. Should hit that thing right there and get more than seven. But you know, he tried to get wide. Um, and once he got out there, there's a plethora of Bengals. I mean, you should have turned this up earlier and got what you can get. Instead of getting seven, you might have got 10 or 15. Do I look like a mind reader, sir? I don't know. All right, very next play. Very next play. Bell going to get another carry. Speed option. Now, he may not have had nowhere to go on this. Let's look at it before I cause judge, pass judgment. I'm sorry. He's blocking down, which I don't really know if he's supposed to do that because everybody else is coming around him. So, maybe he's supposed to do that. Maybe that's in that play design. I'm not sure. 
So maybe he's supposed to wrap to 55, maybe, I'm not sure. But you got a crack here. And if you got if he's cracking him, why are we pitching off of him? That's my question. If, if the pitch man is norm, when you run speed option at somebody, the pitch man is normally unblocked. So if we're cracking him, why are we pitching off him also? That that makes no sense to me. See what I'm saying? He's cracked. This he he should still be coming out here with the ball. And you you get the next person to show up, you pitch off of, pitch off of him. So I ideally. When you you be coming around here, Lamar would be coming around here, and he'd pitch off 55 when he show up. He'd be blocked by Ricard, and then, you know, Le'Veon can get what he can get then. So, the first of all, the first part is this early pitch. And I don't know if this is Andrews or whoever this is is cracking this guy. Maybe they're wrong. Because you shouldn't crack and pitch off, off the same. That shouldn't be the same person. You're losing a blocker when you do that. And you, the numbers tend to go in your favor to against you. So now if we, if we just not pitching off him, you got that block and you got, it's probably Hollywood out here losing this block. That's not Hollywood, they're not losing. Who is that? That's somebody, that's a good block out there. I just couldn't see it. That is, oh, that's Boykin. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that's why. Next play. All right, here we go. Open the drive up. First play of a drive. Got motion by Hollywood. Linebacker shift over. Straight counter. Mm, nice little run. Nice little run by uh, Freeman. That Freeman? Yeah, nice little run by Freeman. Straight counter. Bring the motion in. Help with the linebackers. Now we're going to counter right off of it. He, he Good job. This good job. This good technique right here. Shoulder square. Shoulder square. That's great technique. So with that being, the technique being like that, that's an automatic give. That's an automatic give with his shoulder square like that. So now, so we're going to focus on the play side. Got the kick out right here by the left guard who is Powers. See if he execute that. Good leverage on it. Now, Alejandro should be pulling up in there. This was not a log. Look at where Powers is. Alejandro should be pulling right up in there on 55. That is not a log. But whoever this is, I hear is losing leverage. That is Ricard. Ricard is losing leverage. Carter's losing leverage. So, good job of Devontae. Look at that stick. Great move. I was talking about Devontae two weeks ago. Boom. That one cut. And get up out of there. That's a great cut. 55 got him dead to rights. Dead to rights. Boom. And get up out of there. That's a great freaking cut. Now, with this dude doing the Cupid Shuffle. This cat right here. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Now dip, now dip. Next play. Now we're to the last run by a running back in this game from the Baltimore Ravens. And it is 14 minutes and 21 seconds left in the game. This is the last run by a running back. All right, let's see what this last run is. I look like a little inside zone. What went wrong? What went what went what went wrong? Let's see. Alright, so if this is inside zone, and we're gonna read this guy. This is the read right here. So he won't be blocked. So that means Ricard should arc to 59. Should get a double here up into 55. Should get a double here to whoever activates here. And it should be a solo block right there. That's what should happen. Let's see. Okay, you got your doubles. And I got it drawn up. You got your doubles right there. You got your double right there. You got your solo block. So everything's good right now. Reading the guy that's kind of semi-circle right there. All right. Got it. It's still good with our doubles. Everything's still good. Uh, he's not coming up field. So with his shoulders still square, that's a give read. All right. Right now, we still good. It was still good. But at this point... Now 70 needs to start working to 55, and Bozeman should, needs to start working there. That's what should start happening. Now, at this point, he realizes Lamar don't have the ball, so he's going to fall in. and But it should be too late. should be too late. 
But now you see 70 reaching and not coming with his full body. Why? I'll tell you why. I'll show you in just a second. Bozeman should be starting to come off to, to and he does. Bozeman reacts to him right now. But again, 70 gets off late and allows this guy to kind of clog the hole up. But let me show you why. So Tyree, for first of all, they're not getting enough uh to move him backwards, first of all. Secondly, this guy realizes that Zeitler's trying to leave him and grabs this arm. So that's why when Zeitler goes to step, that right arm stays and the left arm comes out. And he can't block this guy with one arm. So it's technically holding by a defensive lineman. And he does a good job of it and allows the, the linebacker to fill that hole. And now with him crashing down because he knows Lamar don't have the ball, um, Le'Veon has nowhere to go. He just fight, sticks his head down and gets two yards. He really, he really had nowhere to go. So on, looking at this, man, it's really kind of sad to look at. But it should be a, a learning, a teachable moment for the O-line and, and really for just the offense period that even though those guys are not the quickest, they are not crappy backs either. The O-line play has to get better, has to get better. There was no one play where I say, you know, well, I'm not I'm lying. There was a couple plays where they should have turned it up. But in those plays where they should have turned it up, they were already in open space. There is no one play where I, like that between the tackles where I feel like a back missed a hole. You know, they were outside on the edge, and I feel like they should have turned it up early and just got what they could have got. But I I don't recall seeing a play in this in this film study that says, hey, they missed, they clearly missed a hole. So I praised those guys last week, and, you know, they didn't play bad this week. They had nowhere to go. And, the, and, none, and none of the guys we got are, are those – Saquon or McCaffrey type guys that can make something out of nothing. They got to have off offensive line play. They got to. They got to. So this is the first video in the film session. I don't know how long it is because I put it in clips, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lengthy one. I appreciate you guys for staying with me. It's a good video. For, you know, I think it's a good video all the way through. And if you hit to the end, type um, pound nine in, in, in the comment section. And I appreciate you guys. And if you got comments, questions, put them down and I'll get with you this week. Coach Evans are uh, out.
Now we're to the last run by a running back in this game from the Baltimore Ravens. And it is 14 minutes and 21 seconds left in the game. This is the last run by a running back. 